Hey guys, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station. This time we're at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Studios here in Brooklyn, New York with my good friend Steven from Red Lessons. Thank you for having me on. We're gonna do a Pokemon or a fragrance challenge. Let's do it, I'm super excited. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> because Pokemon have some silly names, some fragrances have some exotic names. Who knows what's what, and I'm pretty sure he'll know, but we'll find out. We'll see. <laughs> so, here we go. The first one is Aromatisse. Oh my god. Uh, just by virtue of the fact that it has aroma in the name, I'm gonna say it's a fragrance? It is a Pokemon. What? Yes, oh this is god. a Pokemon from the sixth generation. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. I blew that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. The next one is Keist. <sighs> I know that's a fragrance, so I'm pretty safe there. Slumber House, right? Yes. Not <laughs> wrong. Very syrupy fragrance, okay. not a Pokemon. One for one. One for two. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Next one is Bouillon. I'm gonna say fragrance again. I think that's a Byredo, right? Wow. Okay. I'm starting to think I know more fragrance than Pokemon now, which oh. is scaring me a little bit. Because you love Pokemon? And I grew up playing it. I mean, I've been playing it since I was in like fifth or sixth grade. Like I had the original red and blue versions and yes. I've been pretty much collecting them and IV training them. And I have to say I'm a master with the original 151. Okay. Everything beyond that, I'm a little bit shaky, but uh, let's see, I don't know. The next one is Chandelure. I'm gonna say Pokemon for that one. Definitely a ghost fire Pokemon. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Next one is Vanillux. Man, the Lux, that's throwing me off. Just the L-U-X-E. I'm gonna say Pokemon again. It is a Pokemon. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Only one wrong so far, okay. And I, I, I really don't know these, so. Perfect. Next one, this one is Jicky. I'm gonna say Perfume for that one. And that's, that's a classic too, so we're going back a little bit. <laughs> classic OG girl on stuff right there. Can I tell you something? I'm kind of cheating because I know a lot of Pokemon names are like combinations of two or more things like Charmander, a Chard, and Salamander, Squirtle, Squirt, and Turtle, Bulbasaur, Bulb, and Dinosaur. So I'm just, if I see it's a combination or if I hear it's a combination, I'm like, it has to be a Pokemon. So I'm just using that tactic. I'm trying. I'm yeah. Trying. Alrighty, next up we have Stoutland. Pokemon? Yes, a Pokemon. Okay. Normal dog Pokemon. Oh. Yeah. I think of stout, I think of stout beer. Like Guinness or something. Oh yeah, for sure. This thing's like a stout dog. Okay, I'll take it. Next one is Zorua. Could be something from the Ood Stars line by Zerzhov, but I'm gonna say Pokemon again. It's a Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> that one I was like on the edge, okay. Dark Pokemon right there. Oh, okay. It sounds dark. It sounds like a dark name, yeah. The next one is Coromandel. Uh, it's one of my favorite Chanel's, so I'd be pretty disappointed in myself if I got that wrong, so perfume. There it is. That is one of the sweeter Lay's exclusives to Chanel. Love it. Definitely check it out. Definitely. The next one is Gallade. That's not sixth generation. That's a little bit earlier than that. So what is it then? It's a Pokemon. Yes, yeah. it's earlier than that. Definitely a psychic fighting Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew that sounded familiar. Moving on, we have Calandra. Pokemon? Whoa. Did it, I mess that up? Yeah. What? It's a fragrance by Paco Rabanne. Col really? An OG one, apparently. Oh, man. And I'm down with, like, OG Paco Rabanne. Yes. What? Crazy. I have to look that up. But listen, seventh generation, if you guys are running out of names, just go into fragrances, <laughs> right? Yeah. Look at any, like, Kemi fragrance, any Suspira fragrance, Zerzhov, like, those are all names. Like, you just caught a wild gal. Right? Yeah. We're almost there, getting there. We've got a few more to go. The next one okay. is Madrona. Uh, I'm gonna say Pokemon. That is a fragrance by House of Matriarch. Ooh. 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 I need to do more research, I don't know. We forgive you. It's just a Pokemon. No, it's a fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up we have Solosis. First of all, it sounds like a disease. Solosis. But I'm gonna say Pokemon. It is Pokemon. Okay, Little thank you. Ball. Yes. Okay. Moving on, we have Coco Rico. See, now that sounds like it could be a Pokemon, like a chicken Pokemon. But it's a fragrance. Jean Paul Gaultier. Definitely a fragrance. Cool. I hate the bottle, by the way. 
Yeah, bottle is really tacky, the double entendre of the male profile, but um, the scent is actually pretty good. If it doesn't give you a headache, I know some people it gives them a headache, that cocoa fig leaf combination, I think it's pretty decent. Super sweet. Yeah, it yeah. is sweet. Yeah. Very sweet and powdery. <laughs> Definitely. We're winding down. Next one is Sunflora. Man, just hearing these names, I know you really did your research to try to find the Pokemon that sounded the most like fragrances. And I'm gonna say that's a Pokemon? Definitely one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I knew that one. I knew that one, but Flora, man, that was close. Next one we have Frivoli. Pokemon. Frivoli is a fragrance by the French brand Fragonard. Definitely one that I haven't tried. Oh, well. I will be trying all of these though. That, Matriarch, the OG Paco Rabanne. Yes, you'll get to it. The next one is Zagorsk. Pokemon. Zagorsk is a fragrance by Calm des Garcons in the incense series. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. With Jai Salmer and Avignon. And yeah. Why did I think that was... It does I'm... sound like a Pokemon though. I'm just, I'm very disappointed in myself. You're at least over 500, so that's what's up. It just shows us how weird some perfumes names are. And how weird some Pokemon are. Fair enough. All right, next up we have Amarena. Pokemon? No. What? It is by Bulgari. It's a fragrance. See, here's my thing. If it's, if it's a fragrance that I've never heard of, and it's a Pokemon name that I've never heard of, my mind is like, okay, that's just new generation, so I've just never heard of it before. Yes. So that's like my defense, but I just, I'm blown it. And the second last one is Aldo Mamola. So now if I say fragrance, I'm going to be wrong again. So I'm going to say Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. Okay. It's wow. like a giant love disc, if that makes any sense. Really? Huh. It's like this fat pink thing, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's that. And the last one is Luxio. Pokemon? It is definitely a Pokemon. Yes. <sighs> One of the earlier generations too, because I know that sounds familiar yeah. to me. It's kind of like in the cutoff point. I think that's generation four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's that. And we are pretty much good to go. I'll post Steven's score somewhere on the screen. Tell us in the comments below if you did better than that. Tell us if you want to see more collaborations of this kind in the future. And also a very big thank you to Pokemon for sponsoring this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, by the way. Nintendo, Pokemon Company, Colorado. But thank you again, Steven, for doing this. No, thank you, Manny. That was really cool. It. Thank you for doing the research and taking the time to come up with those names. Very deceptive. I tried. All right, so we're signing off from BFL Studios. Hopefully we see you again. I'll leave the links in the description below. And take care, guys. Take care. Peace out. I actually love using this stuff on a warmer night out, believe it or not. I think it comes off as super interesting and flattering without being too outlandish as far as performance.